constant 10, 11 players to typically now 20, 30. Yeah. Uh, oh, big oh, growth, oh, especially right, oh. post COVID Smash Run. There were 54 entrants last night. Okay, who are we got? Oh, yeah, Ryan and DJ. Let's I think see. Ryan and DJ is correct, but I'm just not sure which is which. Zelda. Ah, well, uh, the tag will be helpful. And we'll then Ryan, yeah, Ryan plays Pokemon Trainer. And so, yeah. speaking versus Zelda, have you ever seen this matchup? Ah, uh, I can, I've definitely seen it in the past. We used to have this great Pokemon, tra uh, Pokemon Trainer back in New York, and also a great Zelda and Ace Attorney. In general, though, I, I feel like Squirtle does a lot versus Zelda. He's very fast. He kind of gets in her bubble quite a bit. And he's not really in threat of uh, taking one of those big lightning kicks either just because it's so hard to space on him. Yeah. So I will probably see a lot of Squirtle usage and maybe some Ivy usage if uh, Ryan needs to clean up the socks. I can't imagine Charizard is going to be a big factor here, though. And then, I mean, we're seeing kind of the Ivysaur come in. I mean, just like this is the, the better neutral character versus Will. Just a little bit like more presence with the projectiles and all that. Uh, get it. But nice catch on the roll. Yeah, and you can see DJ really haven't had any chance to set up. And Zelda is one of those characters where you just need a little bit of space. to put on some excellent pressure with both the Squirtle and the Ivysaur so far. Nice confirm. Say 46 percent to the name. Finally got a night up. That's about the second night we've seen this entire set so far. Yeah, the first one. Well, there's the third. Oh, it's right. Oh, but the cake is a quite kill. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Making a nice count for sure. Good ledge trapping. Classic Zelda setups right there at the down air coming to jump. This job doing the nair this time, mixing it up. Yeah, they just get sure from the other Zelda. Oh, Zelda's always yeah. Always been a really annoying character. Thankfully, always been on the lower side of the tier list. But there is a, little, but like uh, the thing is, Zelda has going for her in really every game is that she actually does have a lot of kill power. Most like, definitely. The, the fair, the fairs are. I mean, they're slow, right? The hitbox is small. It's not reliable. There aren't really reliable ways to connect into them. But if they connect, they are very potent. Indeed. Kind of a big if, especially, oh, but, you know, there's 22% in Soul's knockback power. Nice confirms, and what I'm loving from DJ here, really taking advantage of that stage friend that they've accumulated. And honestly, punching Ryan for being over aggressive in a couple spots here, too. Seeing a lot of shielding, waiting for like an option, and then either spot dodging, you clear out a shield. Doing some great stuff for Zelda so far. Oh, I think he's that. Yeah, again, trapped on these platforms. I'm kind of curious about this as the first stage choice. I, I just can't necessarily see the benefit for Zelda as much as you can see for Ivysaur on that uh, battlefield pick. Seeing how much uh, Ryan's shark can do these platforms, down airs, up airs, it's pretty scary. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's kind of the issue with, like, reflecting Ivysaur's projectiles in general is that he's always, he's like, when he's throwing them, he's always just a little bit closer than you like, so you're not going to, you know, reflect full screen and then that's just going to be your neutral. You kind of have to deal with his pressure at all times. Uh, that's IB2. I believe it goes through uh, Phantom. So if uh, DJ wants to do like a displaced Phantom, put it in front, that uh, IB Source IB should still be able to go through. Yeah, just not able to escape from this pressure. Finally, did a very dangerous up on stage, truthfully. That could have been a lot worse had uh, Ryan been ready for it. And Ryan just confirms if he's looking really solid right now. Yeah, I mean, this is Prime's out of issue more so than anything else. That disadvantage is pretty garbage. You have neutral special, and then you have brain. Because that's pretty much all you're going to be able to do to escape. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, nice up there. 112% prayer, hope of the dream, and get Swell Squirrel now. I think, I think it might be worth just going to Charizard or like. Definitely not Charizard. Charizard, you can lose neutral about like two, three good times, take some real damage, maybe even get on the ledge. I like the Ivy Sword choice, so I'll go ahead and close that game out quickly. Spike takes it. And the uh, first game goes to my, uh, I want to say like the current president of Super Smash Club. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, this is president of uh, UW Madison Smash yeah. Club? Yeah, so, uh, uh, salute the president, folks. Salute the president. Mr. President. Can, can I get some salutes in the chat, please? Some salutes in the chat for Mr. President. All right, putting in that word. Pokemon trainer. Yeah, I... <laughs> oh. <laughs> that actually, oh, that, my gosh. Oh, that's a salute? <laughs> you. Real so Ryan support in the chat. Although I would not count DJ out, that game was still very close by the end of it. So 
maybe without that extra platform, yeah. you see small battlefield as the pick. Yeah, DJ, I mean, he lost game one, but there's always the option to change the track to something else. Flip it over to the B side. <laughs> Indeed, and already started out a lot better, truthfully. Uh, this time last game, we saw DJ with a stock deficit and only having done 43% on that first stock. Already a lot better of a start, 48% unanswered. And they're just uh, gonna, uh, yeah, up beyond the shield, just gonna punish them. He'll take the percent. He's just looking to equalize right now, because like, the problem is that uh, like Zelda, well, I mean, you know, when you have a lead, uh, when your opponent's leaving the camp, Zelda kind of excels at that. Well, you know, insofar as Zelda excels at anything. Uh, He's going to Zelda can definitely control movement pretty well. Catch on those switches. Um, maybe a little bit overzealous on how many switches we're getting here. Seeing a lot of different Pokemon coming out, trying to figure out which one's best for the situation. Unfortunately, getting trapped pretty hard. That really should have been a kill coming out from DJ. Drop that just a bit. Need to be a little bit lower with that up there. Have the right read though for sure. You can see DJ turning up a bit. And, and, yeah, DJ's just been using like the, the night a lot more, and it's just been moving the events. This. Truthfully, you, I don't know why you be playing Zelda. You're not using Night. Unfortunately, you went Night Night with that back air. Go ahead and uh, taking that first stock for Ryan. Oh, that's not even remotely close. What the hell? I'm about to say, uh, that red spark seemed like a lie. That was nowhere near killing. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the weeks of weak the back air coming in. Uh, anti clutch for uh, Mr. DJ. Back, back throw. throw not quite gonna kill. I was almost curious on if up throw might have been a better choice. I don't know if that's a good up throw at all. Oh, nice read. Nice read. Yeah, that's what I was more thinking what would happen with the charges are coming out. It's a lot easier to get those ledge traps that Zelda's known for. Big body, not as much room to evade. I love that side B to just punish the up tilt. That was so good. You're talking about uh, Squirtle side B? Yeah. Yeah, that thing. I don't know what kind of armor it is, if it's invincibility trade-off, but yeah, I've not seen anything beat it. I'd love to see, instead of DJ like trying to come in and push that advantage, maybe set up a knight, try to gain stage control a little bit more slowly. Like that, for example, right? Look how much pressure you put on, force him to go super high, now you're able to get a punish. All right, that's gonna be a fourth throw. Hey, I, I know he would debate on up throw too, but he wasn't close enough to that platform to connect it. He got in the roll though. And one more sock and Ryan's gonna wrap up this winner round one set. Yeah, yeah, DJ might have to play us out. Like, let's, see, let's see if he can. Uh, I, I'm out of puns, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, no puns needed. It's raw fire coming in with that heat track. <laughs> That's why B came in a high. Man, you know, I'm a stealth bird. You're me, Gunner. I love to see good side Bs. You gotta love it. a little bit overzealous here and that's what Zelda loves. She loves when you just get a little bit too antsy trying to get it done. Alright, able to avoid that and won't be able to really get too much off of that uh off that interaction. Yeah I think the I think the issue DJ is kinda just running into is that like a lot of times so you control sitting around like from he just kinda resorts to up to like Ryan is kinda kinda oh that's it. That's fortunate. Oh that the Nerf, nerfed, by the way. That move was nerfed. <laughs> right, yeah. The thing got nerfed uh, in the same way Wolf Back Air is nerfed, or Peach Forward Air is nerfed.